And welcome back everybody to this Let's Be Nostalgic with Super Metroid. So let's just get right back and it's where we left off. Great. So we left off here with our um, our faithful ship. Before going back to the main goal of the game, let me just make sure that I've um, not forgotten some of the obvious, say, small missile upgrades and stuff like that that we've got down here. I believe there's one to our left here at some point. Let me just make sure I check that out before I do anything else. Well, there should be a map room somewhere around here. No, it's a save room. That's not really what I need. And this one, perhaps? I think that's probably the map room. Let's go in and have a look. Ah, oh, that was actually a missile upgrade. And the, the map room is probably to the right. Let's have a look there. And there is a little bit of a secret there as well. So I could do some more backtracking, go back to the first area we had a look at in Brinstar, but I think I'll save that to later, when I've got a bit more to do there. So what do we have here? That is indeed our map room. So let's um, take a look at how the map of Criteria looks. So there's a huge area to the right that we haven't explored yet. We'll get back to that later. Even if I don't really feel like it. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the worst areas of the game, but I'll probably get back to that in a little bit. For now, let's just take some stupid damage here and go on. So I said we could now go down here and, and explore a bit more if we wanted to, but for now, let's just go back to what we're actually doing. There are a couple of upgrades um, in the green area of Prince Tart that we also went to before um, that I want to make sure I go to before doing anything else. So this might be a bit of a detour um, and I'm sure I could go about doing this in a faster way than I'm doing. Um, but whatever, um, we've got enough time. Or, well, I'm not really sure that you guys do, but I definitely have enough time. Today that is. And there is a reason that I'm not going to this um, room to the right left. Um, right just yet. Um, I'll come back to that one later. <clears throat> Sorry. Right, so now that we are a bit more power up than the last time we were here, there are a couple of upgrades that we should get. So, um, let's begin with one to the right here. Remember last time I was here, I wasn't quite fast enough to, to get by. But that's not a problem anymore. So let's see what we have here. A reserve tank. So what that does for us is essentially just works and as an energy tank. Um, it gives us 100... the possibility of getting 100 extra energy. Um, <clears throat> that we could refill at any point, or we could just lose all of, all of our energy and it will refill automatically. So that's nice, of course. And we have a couple of missile upgrades as well. No reason not to take those. Alright, we can head back again. Um, I believe I should be able to get up here. Yeah, that's where it is. Um, I want to be a bit careful here because there is a trapdoor just before this um, super missile. So remember when we were here last time, I think in the first part of this let's play, um, I said that we could actually go up here um, before getting the speed booster, which means that we could get the super missile um, very early on in the game and skip huge parts of it um, that way. So I, I didn't do that, but um, I could have. So we've just got our map over here, no reason to go back here. So that's a call, of course a very common speedrunning technique in this game. So let's see, what do we have here? Something I can use already now? Oh yeah, this is an interesting room. Kill these small fireflies and, um, and the room gets darker. 
sense of who we don't really want. Okay, so this is just a missile recharge room. Don't really need that for anything. As far as I remember, there aren't any um, secrets to um, to get down here either, so... There is some damage to, to get there, so why not get that as well. Okay, it's so another nice little trick here. So we could go down here, and that's one of the more obvious secrets. I actually need a power bomb to, to get through. So let me just do that immediately. And that's a great door. Um, works as a one-way door in this situation. This is where things get a little bit annoying, for a couple of reasons. First, one of them being these guys. Um, second one being that there is another trap door in this room here that I would much want to to avoid. Ah, damn it! <laughs> well, actually, I guess I can just wall jump my way. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's horrible. Means I'll have to do that again. Um, there is a safe room here. Hmm. All right, so this is gonna be a boring part for the viewers. Um, because I can't really promise that I'll get that in my second try, either. At least I've got the freeze beam now, so I can uh, take care of these assholes a little bit easier. Or make life harder for myself by blocking out the way. Right. So this is a really annoying passage if you don't get it right the first time. These um, small guys here can actually teach me how to wall jump. And I guess they can save me a bit of time here. I don't really need to go all the way back, I can just go in here instead. So I'm just gonna pass by the guys. What they do is essentially show off the wall jumping technique, but um, I think I've sort of tried to show that off myself already. Let's just skip this room entirely. Alright, so... There we got it. For that, let's check what we've got in here as well. Another super missile. So super missiles come in very handy in this um, in this game. Essentially, the most um, efficient way to deal damage to bosses. <clears throat> so we're definitely gonna take these. And let's get back here again. Well, if you don't want to hit me, you don't have to. Make it past these guys without getting caught uh, by any of them. Uh, of course, should have never said that. I think this channel is going to have a um, history of jinxing. Every single time I get a good idea, it uh, just fails immediately afterwards. Alright. So let's try out some wall jumping. So far, so good. I like that they have these small ledges um, <clears throat> that you could uh, land on when you're start um, failing. I really want to go up there as well. Oh, that's not good. That wasn't very good either. I will get to that secret room up there even if it is going to take forever. There we go. Another power bomb. Probably won't really need that for very much at all. Is there another secret here? I'm not sure actually. Um, let's just check it out. Uh. Oh damn it! <laughs> I have to make my way up back again. Right, left, and up we go. That wasn't too bad. Again, this isn't exactly a speaker. It's a good thing we got these um, power bombs. I guess we could actually, in theory, run out of them down there. So is there anything else I want to do here? Uh, maybe get a couple more secrets on our way back to Norfair, which is our next destination. So you could, of course, say, "Well, we're just in Norfair. Why don't we just, um, why don't we just stay there and, uh, to begin with?" Well, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, I want to get all the pickups that we have around here. Um, but also I needed to go back up to uh, to pick up the power bombs over here. So all we've got here is a energy tank, and the reason for that is... Uh, 
show you here that I'm the only way to get back here is by doing this um, the speed boosting jump, which actually drains my energy quite a bit. I think I lost about 113 there in that jump. Um, but it shows off an, an important technique that's especially good if you're uh, the speedrunning kind of person. And remember that we were actually here as well before, um, but I needed a power bomb to to get one of the secrets here. So let me just get back up here if I can. Of course, the high jump boots making this just a little bit easier. So there is another secret here. Let's just go for that immediately. And I believe this requires me to use a super missile. Let's check. Yeah. So jump up, shoot down. Let's see what we have. More power bombs. Well, again, they don't necessarily come in that handy, but now that we're here, well, might as well just take them. And the way back is a little bit secret as well. That was one um, power-up we could get. There is actually another secret down here that I don't think I mentioned the last time where we could use our um, power bomb to get in. Um, but yeah, actually, let me just show, show that off later because that requires me to have another suit. I'll always go back again. We'll probably take this route a couple of times um, during our run here. Is there anything else I missed? Yeah, there is one other room, but I think that's another one I'll just come back to later. So now we can go up here. I think this one here is going to allow us to unlock a bit of a shortcut. Taking a horrible amount of damage right now. Notice that now we're actually back in um, the blue part of um, Green Star, where we also have a couple of secrets that I might as well show off. So I don't quite recall how many of them we can actually get right now. Um, let's see. So hopefully the viewers out there uh, remember less of the secrets than I do. Because like, I'm spending quite a bit of time moving back and forth here. But you know, I'm enjoying it. Hopefully someone else is as well. First off, here's a very important energy tank that I will take immediately. And what else do we have here? Well, it turns out that this big thing here that we had to crawl under, we might as well actually just explode. And, um, well, how do you know? There is actually a way up here. So I don't think I can do this by... just by a uh, wall jumping. No, I can. There is actually a thing up there that I need to break through. So let me just use this um, technique that I learned just before from the animal down there. And get this completely right to begin with. And we have another secret up here. Yeah. I was pretty sure I was uh, going to end up here. So I don't think there is a way to get through here easily without um, having the other water suit that I was talking about. Can I actually do this? It doesn't look like I can. Oh, this is very bad. Can I get back in time actually to not die? Otherwise this is very looking looking very bad for us. Oh, jump, 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 jump. So much you can do it. Good. <laughs> Alright, so that was a huge waste of time. But uh, now we know that we can actually get back here later. If I can get down here, I hope that I can. Yeah, that's good. Would have been a problem if I uh, spent my last um, power bump up there. But for now, let's just go back again. And hope that we can buy some energy pretty soon, because I am running a little bit low. There are some more uh, bonus areas in um, the blue part of Criteria as well. I don't think I'll just go back to those later. But just for now, I mean, um, this is a pretty good shortcut. I don't have to walk all the way back to the elevator um, in Criteria and walk all the way back here again. 
So I'll probably make use of that at least one more time during this run here. Oi! This guy was actually pretty close to killing me. Ah, that's not completely true. I did have the um the um the reserve tank as well. But we are getting very low here. I'm not a big fan of that at all. So let's see if we can pump some energy out of these guys here. It seems like we can. So by the way, now that I have my wave beam, um, I can actually go back through this door. Normally this is a one-way door, but I can just like shoot my way out of it. It's pretty neat. Seem to remember being a oh. most secrets are um, or item picks up are noted on the map by a small dot. Was quite the case with that one. We'll come back to the room at my left later. So even though I mean I have the power bump now, so I could just walk through it um, to it, but it will be a bit later, a bit easier later on. Now I'll just leave it. I believe I had an energy recharge in here. Yeah, that's good. The energy retouch um, also recharges my um, reserve tanks, as far as I remember. Wait, I just wall jumped off that wall there. Does that mean that that was actually possible in the room before? So I feel like a bit of a dummy right now. Go on. So here's a, a cool little trick that I, uh, or at least a trick that I thought was very cool when I was a kid. This glass thing here, we can destroy by using power mobs. And so even though, though the world seems uh, kind of static, um, there are things in it like that that you can uh, that you can use. So here we've just got a safe room in which we move very slowly. Let's see if we can remedy that later on. Right now I just want to go back to North Air again. And here's our elevator for doing that. See what we've got here and what we have still to check out. Well, I think I'll actually just go directly towards the next mini bus because I might as well. So maybe remember that here we had these um, power bomb blocks lying around that we couldn't do anything with, uh, about before, but we can now. Can just take a bunch of damage before going on. Any secrets here? Not as far as I remember. Let's check anyway. The bomb is pretty good for um, for doing exactly that. Right here, same room that we're just gonna blow right past. So right, I think we'll just go down here immediately. Alright, so here's an interesting boss fight. This guy can only shoot him in the mouth, and he doesn't exactly take damage. He only moves backwards, depending on how much uh, well damage you would give to him. Um, so you could use missiles, super missiles. Um, and if you don't deal damage to him, he's going to move back, uh, uh, back forwards again. So you really want to make sure you aim your missiles at him at the right time. That was very close to being bad. So you can ask, what's the, what's the deal with him? How do we actually get rid of him? Well, that's going to come in a second. Die, you scum. And that should be it. So, poor guy. It's not like he had done anything to us, we just come in here and, uh, and shoot missiles in his mouth. 
I guess to be fair, he did try to sort of kill us. Um, also, he had this evil music playing in the background that we really liked to sit up, so... Wait, what is this? I can't even get to the left. What's up with that? And the evil music is back! What is this? Oh no, he's alive again! Except he's not. He just somehow magically teleported his skeleton to the left of the wall there. And the lava here actually really hurts. That's something we want to make sure not to get too close to. Okay, so what have we got here? I believe we have a save room here. And um, yeah, might as well just use it. So let's make our... Uh, let's see if we can make our way even further into the core of this planet. That is no fair. I will come back to the store later. For now, let's just check what we've got in here. Another room with a bunch of lava in it. That can get a little bit annoying, but uh, thankfully we have these um, guys that pop up five at a time and give us a bunch of extra health if we need it. But I actually do need right out with um, super missiles. I used a bunch of those in uh, in our boss fight before. Mini boss fight. So let's see if we can get a couple of those. Well, I'm not going to regain health by doing that, that's for sure. So I think we have a maximum of 15 super missiles right now. Let's just get up to 15 immediately. Ah, uh, 13, that's good enough. Let's get back again. I think Norfair is probably one of the areas that I spent the most time in as a kid. Just walking around being confused as uh, and not knowing where I had to go and stuff like that because it is a fairly big area and if you um, take a wrong turn you can easily end up having to um, backtrack quite a lot because it has a lot of um, like one-way doors. So here's another nice little secret. If I can manage to get my speed boost going here. Uh, that was not a nice little secret at all. Stupid roof. So let's do it like this instead. That was better. Was it? Oh, it's so close. So close. There is probably an easier way of doing this, but... Oh, it's like one block away. Probably end up spending all of my energy trying to get this uh, this jump perfect. Oh, come on, game! Don't do this to me. That should do it. Thank you. So some more missiles. Pretty sure we already have more, more than we are ever going to need, but. For now, let's just go back again. So the idea here really is that you need to clear out those blocks so you can use your speed boost and jump all the way up here. Into this little room, where we have the grappling beam. Which is now going to make sense of all the weird looking iron blocks that we've come uh, combined so far in this Super Metroid run. What that's good for is the following. It allows us to grapple onto stuff. Um, so that's good. And again, the game is just doing a nice little bit of tutorial lesson here. Showing us some of the um, ways this grappling beam can be used. Oh, that's bad. So here, we would normally have to use our grapple beam to, um, to come up here, but we can also just jump up there immediately. Some more grappling beam action here. And a one-way door requiring us a super missile to get through. And again, it's strictly speaking not exactly one way, because there is a way to get through the door from the other direction. Let's not um, get into that. Refill my health a little bit again. Alright, 
And moreover, our grappling beam can actually be used on these guys here. Which then allows us to go over here if we time the shot correctly. And indeed we did, so let's check out what we've got in this room. Some more power bombs. I'll take it. And this should also allow us now to skip by this part of um, of North here, which well primarily just exists for us to um, um, to get accustomed to the grappling hook and start uh, getting back again. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but for now let's just run over here where we've got our. And um, next, energy tank. That's also a very welcome gift, of course. And we can use our grappling hook to uh, to get back here without taking too much damage. <clears throat> so I could have gotten this earlier, but I figure I might as well just wait. No reason not to. So let's make our way back up again. Into this room, which if I remember correctly is the same room. Indeed it is. So, let's call it quits for this episode, and I'll see all of you later. So thanks for watching everybody, and have fun.